Hi, I'm Mike. Good morning and welcome back to the weekly vlog here on Our Wyoming Life. Your chance to come along every single day of the week as uh, we move through ranching here in Northeast Wyoming and you can escape your ordinary and uh, explore the ranch life. Did that backwards. See, flip that around. Uh, this morning, guys, uh, I'm just getting ready to head out and feed. Uh, we've got a, a not really a too busy of a week planned. Of course, the 30 and 30 starts uh, here in just a few days. So that is 30 videos in 30 days throughout the month of April, followed up by our 24-hour live stream. So um, honestly, kind of taking it easy as we head into that time. But we do have quite a few things still uh, to get done. I've got a lot of cleaning that I want to get done in the shop before um, the 30 and 30 begins, just because I don't want to have to deal with that during calving. Um, we also have feed arriving this week. Uh, we ordered six tons of feed from Dakota Mills over in Belfouche, South Dakota. So that will be arriving and we will be using that elevator that we showed you last week here on the weekly vlog to refill the, uh, the, the grain bin in the, uh, in the sale barn. So we've got that going on. Um, other than that, uh, we've got baby chicks that we're dealing with and we're going to do that this week as well. So lots of little projects happening around the ranch, but nothing, uh, nothing that's uh, life or death or, or anything like that. I see a lot of YouTube channels out there, um, that, uh, I think are missing a huge opportunity. And I want to really just take a minute here on Monday to thank you for being a subscriber to our Wyoming life for coming along and, and, and viewing, uh, kind of that ranch life through our perspective. Of course, there's, um, plenty of different YouTube channels to, to watch and, and, uh, and view and, and see what ranching and farming is like. So we really do appreciate you guys come along with us. We appreciate our Patreon supporters, um, who are uh, with us as well. And without them, uh, we wouldn't have a meat business. Uh, in case you haven't heard, uh, we've actually started selling beef and pork online. Um, we've had to limit that to our Patreon supporters. So if you would like to order beef and pork, uh, from us, you can do that. All you have to do is be a Patreon supporter. That just cost a dollar a month or ten dollars a year and uh, you can get on the the website and order all the beef and pork you want so um, we did just restock all the freezers and we just started a new thing or actually well i haven't gotten on the website yet but i'm working on it is where you can buy a package so all of our beef comes in beef and pork comes in different packages like you know 10 pound packages of steaks or whatever um, now we actually have it so you can add on to your package as well you can add uh, ground pork or um ground beef or uh, flank steak or skirt steak or dog bones, um, whatever you'd like, you can add on to that as well. And that's part of us moving forward uh, through this thing and trying to keep, um, you know, keep growing and, and keeping offering more to our customers as we can. So it's early this morning. Sun's uh, trying to be, come out. It's supposed to be a pretty nice week, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, we do have some rain and stuff due uh, this weekend. Uh, and speaking of this weekend, we have our live stream uh, this weekend on the Beyond the Ranch channel. That is Sunday morning, or uh, sorry, Sunday afternoon time change. So it'll be 7 p.m. Mountain Time um, because of the time change. So, uh, yeah. Sunday night, 7 p.m. Actually, you're watching this on Sunday, probably. So uh, 7 p.m. tonight on the Beyond the Ranch channel. Come and hang out with us and, and see what we've got going on. Spring break um, is starting next week, so um, I'm sure it'll be all about uh, whatever we're going to do with the kids for a whole dang week. Uh, again, so that's pretty much it uh, for today. I'm going to uh, kind of putz around and, and get a few things done. Hopefully um, our feed shows up. I think that's today or tomorrow. I can't remember. Get that done. Still tired. Yeah. And uh, we are going to uh, uh, get moving on here in the week and hopefully uh, get you guys some, uh, uh, some good looks into the ranch. So stick with us and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, I'm Mackenzie and welcome back to the weekly vlog. Mackenzie is known as our chicken whisperer here on the ranch. In fact, if we go back a few years, Mackenzie, come back up here, Mackenzie taught us a whole bunch about little baby chicks. What? What? You're escaping. <laughs> and chicks, and you know, our chicks get ordered and instead of in eggs, and I'm gonna tell you how they start out in eggs. 
So they recently um, get sit on a mom, of course, um, and then there, there's like this little red dot in this egg, and that's the baby chick growing. And then, and then the next day, um, there is an embryo in the egg, which kind of looks like a galaxy. And then the next day, there's like this little alien in the egg, which is actually the chick. And then the next fourth day, <laughs> I think, is the day they get turned into chicks. And while Mackenzie may know everything there is to know about chickens, today she's going to teach us something brand new. And that's when we're going to move our meat chickens, which are right here inside our brooder. We're going to move them out of here. Now, these guys just showed up about a week ago. Um, we've had them inside this small brooder, making sure that they get acclimated to the weather. They've been here in the shop where they get a chance to hang out. And today we're going to move them into a bigger area, which we're going to show you in just a minute. Kenzie, what can you tell us about these little chicks? They're chickens. They're and chickens. These are meat chickens. <laughs> what, what, what is their fate? They are going to become food. Yeah. Food. Food. Food, food. chickens. Food chickens. All right. So these guys have been living in here for a little while, but what's the problem? Why do they need to move? Because they're getting big fast. They're getting big fast. So we're going to move them right over here. Go ahead and close that for me, Ken, so they don't jump out and run away. All right, so here we go, guys. This is they're going to be their new home for a little while, the next few weeks. Uh, while they're still going to stay here in the shop and get used to the area and the temperatures and all that kind of good stuff, we want it to be a little bit warmer before we put them outside, right, Kenzie? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have this all set up. I got it cleaned. I got it sterilized. What's the next step? What do we need to do? We need to put bedding in here. Bedding. Bedding. Um, which we have. Right there. All right. Come over and grab that bag there. I don't think I can pick this up. Yeah, give it a try. And. <laughs> How much do you think that thing weighs? A lot of, a lot. What's a lot of? A lot, a lot of. A lot, a lot of. Try pulling it, pick it up. Oh, Whee! Pick it up. Kind All of. Right. So we're gonna get this thing thrown into here. It's smaller, but it's deep. It is deep. We actually use it as a stock tank, but we're not using it. Yeah. Chicks. But it has a lid on it. It does have a lid on it. All right. So we want to cover the bottom with shavings. How deep do we want to go? Not really deep, right? So maybe just about like that? Sure. Okay, so do you want to jump up in there? Your job is to just kind of kick it around until we get a good level area in there. Oh, you know what we should do? Take a rake. Well, you know what we should do first, though? We should put their food and their water in or at least their bases for their water so we know where they're going to sit, okay? But yeah, but still, they're going to like get bedding on them. Okay, we'll make it work. This is heavy. We're all set up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Bases, food, Kenzie. I'm a chicken now. <laughs> a chicken like ever like jumped out and been able to fit through the holes? I'm sure. <laughs> So there's like a mountain right here. What? Like a mountain. A mountain is a little high. I'm like cracking it down to my feet. Okay, fill up their food. Nice and full. Okay. Is it okay if they um, get some of the bedding in their food? Yeah, I guess. Okay, we'll put a water there. The one and the water there. there. How's that look? Good. Okay. Yeah, one with little chicken poop and one with big chicken poop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put our lid back on here. Oh, okay. That means I can out. You're okay. Remember, it's only half a lid. Well, when you close it, it's full. All right, Kens. So we're ready to go. Do you want to start bringing in some chickens? Um, do you want to get like a bucket or like Tupperware? Well, I tell you what, you know what would be really easy? What? Is if we just wheel this whole thing. Oh, right. Right over there. Mm. Wouldn't that make sense? Sure, why not? Okay. Chickens on the move. Running on one of your crops. Crops. <laughs> Is 
Alrighty. Oh, they look so normal. They got a red light standing on them. Alright, how do you think we should do this? Um. So all we have to do is just get chickens and put them in, right? Right. Okay. And one of them better poop on me. They're all gonna poop on you. No. Look, new house. Look how much better that is. Then grab more than one. Uh, They have water, they have heat, they have um, food, and they have a new living area. And they have... Did you say water? Yeah, I said water. Oh. <laughs> I said they have water, they have food, they have heat, and then they have a new living area. Cool. Alrighty guys, thanks for coming along with us today and thank you for Mackenzie's help. Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate it. Now you can go home and do your homework. I don't have homework. Good for you. My teacher doesn't believe in it. Her teacher doesn't believe in homework. Who wishes they had her teacher, right? Alrighty guys, we'll see you tomorrow right here on the weekly vlog. Hi guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. It's Thursday and today is St. Patrick's Day. Do you have any green on? No, nope, I won't <laughs> I don't either, <laughs> unless, I, unless I'm wearing green underwear or something, which is always a possibility. So I don't look at that. Do you, do you know what color underwear you're wearing? No, See? I don't. It's a weird thing, guys just don't care. No. That's why there's not, you know, um, Tom's secret to go to, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're <laughs> hanging out in the sale barn and uh, we are doing something today that we started last week. Now we built this thing that you see behind us. This is actually an elevator contraption to get grain into our grain bin. This is our COB storage area. And yesterday we got a shipment of COB here on the ranch. We got three tons of COB to last us a few days, hopefully. Yeah. Um, we are going to be taking one of those tons of COB and we're gonna be putting it into this grain bin using our elevator. Now we did it last week, but we did it with bags. Yeah. Very controlled, mm -hmm. easy going, yes. regulated way to do this. Yes. This could be a ton of COB on the ground. Yeah. It could be. Well, yeah. If things go bad, it will be. <laughs> but I want to be positive here. we are trying to be positive. Uh, first, we all we have to go get our ton of COB, and that might be a trick in as of itself because we've got to get it here into the sail barn, mm -hmm. lift it up high enough to be able to dump it into our elevator. Right. So we're going to use. Uh, I was going to say we could use a John Deere for that, and then we'd be using something green. But yeah. we're going to be using a Bobcat for that, and that's white. I use something green today. Use a Gator for feeding. There you go. We're covered. St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. We're good to go. Alrighty, no leprechaun's gonna come pinch me. Let's uh, go get our, our feed and we'll get it over here and uh, we're, we'll see how this whole thing works. Yeah.
nerve-wracking at all. Nope, I'll bet it wasn't. Okay. Look what's true yet. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our valve here and just try to slowly as possible um, you let, let it let it filter out. Yeah, you can you can do that. I hate working underneath these bags. It's just a little bit slightly really spooky. A little bit slightly really really scary. I bet. Right. So there's our there's our noodle. Okay, so the trick is here, we don't want this to all just come flying out of here because it'll fill up the world. We want it to slowly trickle out. And I guess we can just turn it on. Stabby in the hand, man. Okay. Now we got a whole bunch on the floor. Turn it back on, dump this, minus the concrete block, because we don't need that, right? Nope. Man, we got a lot of them. turned out to be a little harder than I thought it was going to be. Quite a bit. Okay, so here's what happened. Here's the problem. There's two different types of, of COB. Mm -hmm. There's dry rolled and steam rolled. Okay. And when I ordered COB, I don't think I specified which one I wanted. Oh. Steam rolled puts moisture in it. It's so it all sticks together. It gets real funky. Exactly. So I should have got dry rolled. So we got two more tons of this stuff. Super happy fun times. All right. And also, by the way, there's a lot of non-OSHA approved things that happened in this video, but mm -hmm. it's St. Patrick's Day, so luck of the leprechaun, right? right. There we right. go. All right, I'm done. You done? 
Me too. Let's be done. Uh, the extra, the leftover stuff, actually gets thrown in the gator, taken over to the chickens because they're gonna they're gonna eat it anyway. It's mixed up with the dirt, so might as well. Put it of waste. There you go. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow on the weekly vlog. Take care. Hey guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. Today I've been building this. I made a new uh, station for all my DeWalt stuff, which uh, I'm, I'm not really married to DeWalt or anything. I'm married to Aaron actually, but uh, um, I started getting DeWalt tools when Gilbert was still alive because DeWalt, or Gilbert had uh, Milwaukee tools. So I had to get something different so that we could keep our tools separated. So I'm just kind of stuck with DeWalt, but I've wanted to do this for a while. I actually picked up, uh, this shelf came from a friend of ours um, that got them from Kmart, when Kmart closed down in town. Actually, this was shelving in Kmart and uh, they donated to the cause and obviously there we go. So it became our new thing. Take a quick look. Lots more organizations still to happen in the shop over the next couple weeks, and that's part of what we're probably going to be doing during the 30 and 30. If you notice, on the DeWalt wall, though, there's some tools missing, and that's because if uh, you have downtime on the ranch, you can usually find something to do. And uh, today, uh, we caught our friend Matt um, working on a project that's apparently been bothering him since we uh, loaded the, uh, the grain bin up with uh, with grain and uh, he slept on it and I think he came up with a solution for one problem that we had um, and that is uh, the the bin that we had here down on the bottom when we had to lift it up and get it out it was kind of a pain in the butt so Matt has uh, built something what'd you build just kind of build a brace which is going to hold the elevator up on this end that way we can take this piece of OSB out and slide that bucket right out so it's about a half inch clearance. And if we knock this back a little more, one inch. Okay. And that way we can lift with the Bobcat without hitting the ceiling. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, we don't want to go too high with it because no. then we're running out of room anyway. Right. So uh, what's uh, what's left to be done here and how can I help? Got to put a last screw in. And just drag this out. Cool. See All if right. it works. <laughs> I guess that's Should the big work. thing. All right. So you just built a basic H brace yeah. to hold this whole thing out. See we're bringing it right in. It's all scrap we used from the uh, other uh, feed bin. Should work. All right, so I need to lift this up. Yeah, just you're, you're gonna slide just a out little bit. that OSB. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we just have to move this back a little bit. All right, so up again. Just a bit. Yeah. Just kind of modify it a little bit. Okay. What do we have to modify? The brace. Why? Because it's sliding. It's moving? Yeah, it's moving. A little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, it is. Are you okay? Yep. Well, the best play. What is that saying? Best, uh, laid best laid plans of mice and men? Yep. All right, so you're going back to the drawing board? Yep. Because <laughs> that's going to slide along there unless you attach it to this and it looks like there was holes here it looks like something was probably attached at one point yep um i should go back and sleep on it <laughs> let's see if this is at an angle more like this then it 
it can't slide. So you might have the angle of where we throw a piece or two of rebar in there to keep it from uh, in the bottom piece, in the ground to keep it from sliding. Try slide the, try pushing this back up when we I'll lift it back up. Try pushing it back up there again. Okay. 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 So now it is it's gonna slide the top part. The so, aluminum is smooth, the plywood, I mean the two by four smooth. So it's just sliding along. So what about if we put a sheet metal screw right here so it can't move? Or would that be bigger? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. That should work. So you talked about putting some something on the back too. Yeah. Um, All right, Matt, I'm going to say good job, even though I know you're going to think about this and probably rebuild it tomorrow. But I, can, uh, I have an idea. <laughs> we'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. All right, yeah. guys, that's it for today. Um, I hate to tell you, but I, I think that we have another elevator on the way um, tomorrow. So we get to start this whole process all over again. But <laughs> that's all right. We'll get there when we get there. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the weekly vlog. Take care. guys welcome back to the weekly vlog i promised you guys another elevator and here it is uh we're over here by the uh cake shed and i'm gonna get this thing set up and hopefully up and running um this elevator came from our neighbor gary hashtag everybody needs a gary he had it laying around not doing anything with it i showed him the new elevator that we put in the grain bin and uh bye aaron and he uh he said well i've got one of those he said could you do you have use for it and i said well you know what we could probably use it over here by the uh, by the cake and make it a little bit easier to load cake for myself and for Matt. So um, this is where it's at. This is a much bigger, heavier one than the one that we have um, in the in the sale bar, and that one's actually made out of aluminum. This one is steel. Big difference weight wise. But we're over here, gonna get this thing set up hopefully, and uh, and get it working. So let's uh, get to it. First thing is to get this thing in place uh, where we need it. So. That's the fun part. And since this is the hopper, this is the part that we need to get directly underneath the cake sack. When we let the cake go, it fills up here, it goes up the elevator, the conveyor belt, whatever you want to call it. And into where it goes, where it needs to go. That's cool. Okay, so if you notice, I did a little bit of prep work here. I put a cross piece um, up in the joist of this shed that put some chains on, and hopefully we'll be able to get this thing up to where it needs to be and held in place by these chains. I'm kind of on my own here, so I'm gonna use the skid steer to lift this thing up and uh, and then we'll get the chain on it and hopefully 
it'll stay in place, hopefully. of is I need to figure out how high I need to get it so I can get cake into the cake feeder. To do that, I'm going to need the cake feeder. Move it forward just a little bit. Okay, so now we got it here this far. <laughs> now I'm gonna come in with a piece of wood here to uh, to brace this whole thing up so we can pull underneath it with the cake feeder. Folks, I think we're getting close to the end here. Time to disconnect our chains, which aren't holding anything off anyway right now. Get those out of the way. I think that'll work. I hope that'll work. All right, I've got some power over here. Get us plugged in. Get everything up and running. Temporarily, I'm gonna actually do a switch of some sort, but for right now, this will work. Okay, we hit a snag. So, problem. The cake got underneath the belt. I don't know how that happened, or if that's supposed to happen, but it's obviously not good. So, I'm not quite sure how to fix it, to tell you the truth. Huh. I think I can make this work. It's just a matter of adjusting it. So it stays, so the belt stays tight enough for the cake. Okay, I think we're pretty close to full. Let's check it out. Yeah, that seems about right. For the amount of cows that we have, we want two pounds per cow. Um, we've actually measured this in the past so we know where our level is. 
and it looks pretty dang close to where we need to be to get this to work. Okay, now we can go kick the cows. Before we get there, um, I did talk about tightening the belt and that's actually done right down here. Obviously this thing's pretty old, so it's probably seized up pretty well, but I think we can tighten the belt right here and get it as tight as we want it. Also, I'm gonna have to go through and, uh, and grease this thing pretty heavy too, so. But overall, I'm pretty impressed. For a junkyard find of Gary's, you know, I think it works just great. So, come along with me. We'll go kick the cows really quick, and uh, then we'll call it a day. Cake treat, yeah, that pretty much does it for us today. Get that auger figured out, get it fine tuned, and uh, tighten up that chain is the big thing. But other than that, uh, we'll get a switch on it, and uh, you know what? I think we're good to go. I think we are good to go. The cows don't care; they're just happy the cake is here, and so am I. So thank you very much, guys. Really do appreciate it. Thanks for coming along for another weekly vlog. And uh, let's see, next week there may or may not be a weekly vlog. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing yet. I talked about having Matt do one for me, but I'm not sure how he feels about that. So <laughs> we're gonna figure that out as we go. And uh, yeah, so until then, I guess uh, have a great week and uh, I'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life. Is that good? Can I have some? Bambi, you don't want mine? Hey, wait, really quick before you go, somebody's gonna ask me, where's Matt during all this? Matt's digging a hole. Why? Because he can. Having fun? Not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be easy, but I didn't think it'd be this simple. Well, Matt, that's a nice hole. Thanks. Yeah.